So in this video, I will show you how to make your desktop look clean. Uh, and I'm, as you can see, I'm currently on Windows 11 version 22,100. As you can see right here on about section about the device, as you can see 22,100, which is the latest developer build of Windows 11. So let's get straight to it. So first off, if you have desktop like me, for example, with all these icons, right click it, go to the view and you can click this one, show desktop icons. You can click this one and the icons will be gone. So another tool which is very helpful for Windows 11 is go to the settings, go to the personalization and you can change a lot of things right here. So themes, you can make this Windows looks a lot more cleaner. So for example, you can make it in the dark mode. As you can see, I just clicked to the dark mode and it should be dark mode. And uh, uh, when it changes, let me see. System, personalization, let me change, oh here, I need to change it right here. And here I can change the themes. So there are a lot of brand new themes on the Windows 11. For example, this dark theme, and of course this dark theme. I will just pick, uh, let's say, a, a light theme, let's say this one, which is default one, or let's say this one with the ocean, or the lake, or whatever this is. So another tool this is very helpful for Windows 11 is to change a wallpaper with, with using Wallpaper Engine, which you can get on the Steam for about uh, 4.99 American dollars. In my personal opinion, it wor works quite nice. And as you can see, I have a lot of uh, wallpapers installed. For example, I can choose this one I used on the thumbnail for this video. Uh, I think this looks quite nice, but I already found an alternative for this one. So is this one Windows 11 RGB customizable wallpaper. For example, we can uh, we have currently on the RGB mode, but on the default is on the, as you can see here, we have all these settings for this wallpaper. I can choose, for example, uh, original and this one as well for original and dark mode. That's the default one. But if you want to change the, this wallpaper, let's say for the light theme and let's go to the RGB and you can also sync uh, uh, the background color with uh, the with this one. As you can see, this one like, uh, looks quite nice but you can also put it to the RGB. But I think this one doesn't look so nice. So for my for my personal liking, I will put it to the RGB sync, sync object. So I think this looks quite nice, this wallpaper. Uh, and uh, of course you can uh, change overall wave. Uh, and as you can see, uh, it changes a little bit right now, but I will apply this settings right now. And also shake layers separately, pass pulls and bass, bass shake and stars. You can also apply this all the settings. So uh, I will X uh, or close the wallpaper engine right now or minimize it. Go to the window settings as you can see right here or the file explorer. Uh, we are currently in the file explorer. Go to the right click it, go to the properties. And in the properties, basically we can change all these settings. So for example, if you go to the about the device, uh, my windows uh, about uh, isn't actually activated. And you can also go to this, uh, let's say for device manager, you can change the settings right here. Some settings right here, or all these, you can find some drivers, but you can also choose, let's say, uh, for example, right here, if we go to the, this PC, go to the show more options, we have also properties, advanced system settings. Yes, at this one. Advanced system settings. So if we are here in the advanced system settings, we have performance right here, visual effects, processor scheduling, memory usage, and virtual memory. If we go to the settings right now, we can click this one to adjust for the best performance. Uh, so the windows uh, isn't that heavy on the system and of course uh, uh, with less animations. So I will click apply on this settings right now, click okay. And I click okay right here. Go here, right here to the settings and personalization all the animations basically in the window settings so I can disable that and of course uh, I will go back here and go to the taskbar and you can choose whichever setting you will like so search task view and widgets for the Windows 11 taskbar for my liking I would just like to say task view or even without this one so uh, for example if you like the search but I don't see the point in search because in the latest Windows 11 update the search is already here on the Windows start menu so I don't 
see the point using this one uh, on enabled. So I will choose for the off right now. So task view, actually, this is the, the toggle to enable the task view so that you can see all the applications which are currently running as well as desktop. So I think this is the quite useful, but I think that uh, Alt tab shortcut is the same or Windows tab, I think is the same. So as it, uh, your personal preference, I probably choose it to the off because I also use the Windows and tab shortcut and the widgets, widget is the most useful, useless thing about Windows 11. I don't think this is quite nice for the Windows 11 and I don't use it. I don't actually use it. So I will put it to the off. And as you can see, we have clean and minimal a uh, Windows 11 taskbar, as you can see right here. So we have also Windows Corner or Overflow. As you can see, we can uh, enable or disable these uh, icons for the Windows uh, 11 on the taskbar. And of course, we can also put our, um, our taskbar to the left of Windows 11 or uh, of course to the center, which is uh, 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 which is uh, Windows 11 default. So we can also automatically hide the taskbar if you want to do that. But personally, I don't do that because uh, I find it very disturbing and uh, of course also very uh, uh, time consuming in my personal opinion. I'm used to the uh, taskbar being always opened. So uh, I think Windows is currently running uh, quite smooth. And let me show you one more thing right here to the animations. So let's uh, type animations right here, animation effects. As you can see, um, we have all these settings. You can also, for fluidity, for example, you can disable transparency transparency effects for Windows 11. And Windows 11 should uh, work a, a little bit uh, better because of the, uh, without this uh, transparency effect. And of course, animation effects are turned off or you can enable them to turn them on. So I will put it to the off because of the fluidity of the system. But one th setting that I, really like is the always show scroll bars so this is the sh always show scroll bars for example if we have where is the scroll bar for example if we have the scroll bar as you can see right here uh it automatically hides but i don't like actually that so i will put it on the on so i think this looks quite nice if you go back to the accessibility and visual effects right here uh, we have all these settings uh, all applied and covered so i think this is quite nice with windows 11. Also with the gaming mode, if you want to use it, uh, you can en enable on or disable this open Xbox game bar. But I personally don't uh, 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 don't game a lot on this computer. So uh, go back to the captures. I also probably record with OBS and I don't record with this native recording uh, software, which is built into Windows 11. So game mode, I can use that for, uh, let's say, playing games or it's very useful for boosting some FPS. Let's Two, two or three i think this is quite nice so that's been it for today's video as you can see we have currently rgb wallpaper i think it looks quite nice in my, in my personal opinion i hope you like it and if you did like this video and subscribe to the channel is much appreciated and also if you're interested to other windows 11 and windows 10 customizations and tweaks check out my other videos and with that being said have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.